Yeah, I think it, that's gonna be all right. We are live. Hey, everybody! Welcome to this Facebook Live where we talk about. I'm gonna be posting, putting the phone right here, so I can see everybody who joins in, and you can see me clearly. Today, we are talking about ethical influence. Ethical influence. Let me make sure that I'm live completely. Yes, I am. All right, people have started joining. Noong Rina. Hey, Rina. Hey, Mel. We are talking about ethical influence today. Now, what I mean by ethical influence is uh, how do you influence people with total ethics? So that people do exactly what you want them to do for their benefits without them feeling any pressured. I hope you can sound. Uh, Mel, if you are there, just give me a quick uh, comment if the sound is fine. Let me know if there is too much background noise because of the fans are on. I'm near the balcony right now. Quickly let me know. I'll wait for you. Hey, Vanky, welcome to the stream. This is not a soft drink, by the way. It's an energy drink, excess. Little less soft. All right, I'll take this off. So, we are talking about why most people don't do what you want them to do and how to fix that. Now, look at your life. Look at your life and see in which areas, whether it's um, Shorab, whether it's professional life or personal life where you feel that you want more control because you want people to do what you want them to do. Now, let's look at some examples. It can be, let's say, in your office. In your office, you want people to you know, listen to you and do the project on time, but maybe they don't do it for whatever reason and that pisses you off. Or maybe, second thing that can happen maybe is at your home, your children, maybe, uh, you tell them to do something, hey baby, do this for their benefit, but they don't do it, whether not doing the homework or not doing anything. Many people think that's a problem in relationship, it's actually a problem in communication. And that's exactly what we discussed today. So, maybe in your community, in your friend circle, you tell people to go to somewhere else, but they go somewhere else and they don't know. You know, what I'm talking about, these are the things that most people don't realize because they think if they don't do, it's their fault. Correct. But if they don't do, initially it's your fault because you communicate, you could not communicate properly why they should not do something or why they should do something. So. Another thing uh, is on clients, when you're working with clients, you want them to pay on time, you want them to follow your process or whatever, but if they don't do it, it's because uh, they don't value yourself enough or maybe for whatever reason they are not doing it. Uh, thank you Anupama for those messages, yeah, all good, cool, thank you. Um, so here's the thing, there are three main reasons why most people don't do what you want them to do. Three reasons, okay? I want you to write them down. Reason number one, too many messages coming. This is this bothers me when I'm doing a live. At one level it bothers me. At another level it's fine. People love me, man. Reason number one is write this down. People don't trust you. So the reason people don't do what you want them to do is at one level people don't trust you. Now, if you... If you have ever been in a situation where somebody was telling you to do something but you are not doing it and the reason was that you did not trust that person, let me know in the comments below that yes, yes it happened to me. Somebody told me to do something, I did not trust him. I don't trust that person as a person, as a human being. That's why I did not do it. Put down in the comments below. I'll wait and I'll come back. Put down in the comments, if ever you have been in a situation where you did not do what people wanted you to do because you did not trust or respect that person, Raj Lakshmi, yeah. Put down in your comments, say yes it happened to me and I'll be back. I'll wait. Put down your comments. Put down. 
down your comments. All right, yes, yes, great, awesome. That's the reason number one. People don't trust you at one level for which they don't do what you want them to do. They trust you maybe as a person, but they don't trust you at one level where they feel you are not an expert in that field. So for example, let's say I am not a doctor, correct? So if I tell somebody, somebody is having a health challenge and I tell them, do this, they trust me as a person, but they might not trust me for that specific advice. So they might not do exactly what I'm telling them to do because they don't see me as an authority. Write that word down, authority. If they don't trust you, if they don't see you as an authority, they won't actually do what you want them to do, no matter how smart, how amazing, how powerful, how confident you are. That's the reason number one. Reason number two, why most people don't do what you tell them to do is because they don't see your perspective. They don't see your perspective. They can't see what you can see. So when you go to a child, for example, and you tell them, hey, don't, um, you know, hang out with bad friends. Those friends that you hang out with, don't hang out with them because they are bad. They are somehow doing drugs. Don't go out with them. They can't see your perspective. They trust you. They love you. They want to do what you want them to do, but they don't see your perspective. And as a communicator, it's your responsibility to communicate your vision, your perspective to the other person. Thank you, Steve, for being here. Steve Cyphers, brilliant marketing genius, ninja amazing person, and a great person who can help you implement marketing a lot. So, uh, Steve, thank you for being here. So, they can't see your perspective. If you can't communicate your perspective, right? Many people can think, oh, I, you know, uh, who, who, who cares if they don't listen to me? Who cares? It's, it's because you couldn't communicate your perspective very, very well to people. Um, recently, I know of a guy who um, did not stay in a relationship for a very long time because his girlfriend left him. And you know the typical thing that many people say, oh, you know, it's her loss. She did not do this. It's her loss. She did not stay with you, buddy, because you did not communicate your perspective with her. She did not stay with you because she did not see the benefit of staying with you anymore. It's not her loss. It's your fucking loss. Most people don't get that. Okay, that's reason number two. Reason number three, write this down. People don't do what you want them to do is because they don't see the urgency of doing it right now. They don't see the urgency. Now, let me tell you, I have been there before where I knew that I wanted to go for a program, I wanted to enroll for a course or I wanted to, you know, for example, for the last few weeks I want to join the yoga but I have not done that because I'm thinking I will go, I'll go tomorrow, I'll go tomorrow, I'm procrastinating. Um, it's because I don't see the urgency sometimes. Now, have they, has there ever been a time where you want, you knew what was the right thing to do but you did not feel the urgency? You're right on, excellent insight. Thank you, Steve. Yes, you did not see the urgency. Now, the thing is, if you can't see the urgency, it's the responsibility of somebody else, maybe a leader, to tell you the, what the urgency is all about, why you should do it right now, and why you should do it this right now instead of something else. Right? And the thing is, if you don't do it, it's your, you lose something at that time, but you don't know that you're losing something because you think by not taking action, you're fine, but by not taking action, you're procrastinating. And I just read it this thing today, procrastination is just like credit card. It's a lot of fun until you get the bill. Boom, 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 boom. These are the three reasons why most people don't do what you want them to do. Now, I work with a lot of IT professionals, project managers, This is a good thing. I like it. I like, we're with a lot of IT professionals, project managers, CEOs and vice presidents who are really subject matter experts in their field, but they don't know how to present themselves in front of people in a confident manner. I work with them, I mentor them, and I show them exactly how to become not just an average expert, but how to become the confident expert. Now, when you become a, the confident expert in your field, what happens is that you make more money, you have more respect, you leave a legacy that most people don't know about, and you live a life that most people can only dream about. And if you uh, study Tony Robbins, I've studied him for years, you know, he says that people take action for two reasons. People take action for two reasons. Okay, in fact, I want to know from you right now, because I want this to be an interactive session for us, for all of us here, right? This is your stream, not mine, this is yours. So, I want to, I want to know this from you. Here's a question. 
what is the number one biggest reason? Whatever answer you give, it's your answer and we will absolutely accept your answer. What is the number one reason most people take action? Or why you? What's the, what's the reason why you take action? What happens for which you take action? Is it you want to get a result? You want to uh, not feel bad anymore? Why do you take action? Put down in the comments right now. I'll wait. Let's hear about that. What's the reason you take action? Put down in the comments. What's your reason for taking action in life? Let's hear that. And I'll be back. Put down in the comments. Put down in the comments. Write down, write down. What's the reason people don't take, what's the reason for you to take action for anything? What do you, what do you think? Result and don't want to be left behind in life. Raj Lakshmi, you are absolutely correct. You are absolutely correct. Whoever is watching right now, let me know what's the reason you take action in life? To be successful, to do anything. What's the reason for you to take action? Put down in the comments. Absolutely. So here's the thing, if you study Tony Robbins, great answer, if you study Tony Robbins, here's what he says, people take action for one of two reasons, okay, if you're taking notes, write this down, number one, to avoid pain and number two, to gain pleasure. Write this down. People take action for two reasons. To avoid pain or to gain pleasure. So anything you do, right? Anything you do, you sit down on this chair, is to avoid a pain or to gain pleasure. I am having this to have the pleasure of high energy or to avoid the pain of having the low energy because of the you know um, big long day that I had. Whatever you do, people take action because of two reasons, avoid pain or gain pleasure. Now, this is a psychological advanced um, thing that most people don't talk about. But here's the thing. If you want somebody to do something, don't just tell them what to do, but hit the point of how they can either avoid a point, pain, or gain a pleasure by doing what you're telling them to do. Does that make sense to you? You want to tell people that. So here's the thing. Let's talk about right now three, three, three things you can do starting today in order to have more people do what you want them to do. The first thing is don't just tell people what to do, but tell people what they miss out on if they don't do it. Don't just tell people what to do. Tell people what they miss out on if they don't do it. So don't just tell them, hey, do this project, say, hey, do this project because if we don't do this project, you know, that guy again, that boss will again come and talk on us and, you know, that, that uh, we will cross that deadline timing and the client will be unhappy. It's going to be bad. Let's get this done. Boom. That's persuasion. See, this is the advanced level, very subtle confidence and persuasion factor, ethical influence that most people don't know about. Don't just tell people what to do. Tell people why and what they will miss out on if they don't do it. Does that make sense to you? If you like this, what we have spoken so far, like the video, hit the like love button and share. I want you to share. I want you to share down and I want you to share with other people about what you're learning in this thing. So that's the reason number one. People don't just tell people what to do. Tell them what they miss out on if they don't do it if they don't do it. Thanks for the likes and share, I appreciate that. Number two, reason most people don't do what you want them to is because they don't see you as an expert because you are not telling your personal story, okay? I often have a saying that public speaking is not about perfection, it's all about connection. 
So the connection can only happen once you learn exactly how to tell your story. So don't just tell them, you know, do this thing, but tell them, you know what, when I was in your place, the first time I came to this, or the first time I wanted to join the yoga, I was really, really reluctant about doing it. And here is why I did it and here is how it happened. And let me tell you what's happening today and how great of a health I'm enjoying today. That's story, that's connection, that builds authority. My question to you is, whether you're communicating with your children, you're communicating with your audience, you're communicating with your clients, you're communicating with your senior managers, you're communicating on social media, you're communicating in email, are you telling people your story? You know, it says, facts tell, stories sell. Facts tell, stories sell. And for a long time in my life, I really struggled with telling story. So one day I went to one of my mentors, Mark, and I told him, Mark, I really want to improve my story. And he said, why? I said, because I want to influence people. He said, why else? What's the biggest reason, Vishal, you want to tell story? I said, ah, I don't know. Everybody says that, uh, everybody tells me that I should learn the storytelling very well. And he t told me the biggest reason. He said, Vishal, when you are a child, I said, I'm always a child. No, I said, he said, Vishal, when you are a child, you were a child, um, did you ever go to your mommy or your daddy and says, Mommy, Daddy, show me a PPT PowerPoint? I said, no, I never said. He said, what did you say to your parents? I said, I always went to my parents. I said, Papa, Ma, tell me a story. See, that's why, you, that's why it's very important for you to learn storytelling. How to tell your authentic story to people. If you want to learn how to tell better stories, I'm going to do another live stream, another training some other day. Make sure you write down, yeah, just put in the comments, story, S-T-O-R-Y. Just write down story. If you want me to do another training some other day on exactly how to tell a powerful story in a very short time, in an amazing, powerful world to grab more attention. So people listen to you, respect you, recognize you, remember you. Write, put down story in the comment box story put down story in the comment box write story in the comment box yeah Absolutely, I'm going to do another training some other day. And here's the, so first reason is, first technique to influence people to do what you want them to do, is don't just tell them what to do. Yeah, Raghavendra, Vishek, Biplop, Rajvishmi, thank you so much. Vimiti, good to see you. I hope you're doing awesome in Kolkata. Don't just tell people what to do, tell them what they miss out on if they don't do it. Number two, personal story. And the reason number three, or rather technique number three, or a strategy number three, is something called third party validation third party validation it's telling somebody else's story somebody else's example of somebody else who was in a similar situation just like the person in front of you and tell them how they took action so i know it's very hard for you today to do this project and in fact last week when i gave this project to smriti Smriti also said the same thing, that it was hard for her. And then she realized that because it was hard, she wanted to take up this challenge to help the organization, help the team, and help everybody. She finished the project on time, and today she is a more successful project manager. And in the last one week, she has made more progress. She feels more like a leader than ever before. My question to you, Abhishek, is don't you want the similar results? What do you think Abhishek will say? Yes. Yes. See, that, that's called third party validation. You're telling somebody else's example into this thing, into in, in front of this person, so they can visualize in their mind to do it. All right? Remember this. Logic makes you think. Emotions make, make you act. Logic makes you think. Emotions make you act. So once people can see that third party validation, and this is another very, very important thing that most people don't do in their technical presentation. Many people think, yeah, these are the things that only leaders can do. You know, it's just like saying, um, it's just like saying, kissing is only thing that only husbands can do. 
<laughs> you don't need a title to do something, man. You gotta do it, right? So, write messages. Okay, cool. So, reason number one is you don't want to tell people exactly just what to do. Also, tell them what they miss out on if they don't do it. Number two is tell story, connect. Connection is amazing. You want to connect with people. When you connect with people, let me tell you this. The more you connect, the more you collect in life. And not just collect by just money, you collect more respect, you collect more recognition, you collect more network, you collect more friends, you collect more amazing people around you, you collect amazing powerful humanity around you when you do that, tell your story. And number three is you want to do third party validation, okay? Here's an action step for you. We've covered a lot of information today. We have spoken about, let me see the notes. Yeah, we've spoken about three reasons why most people don't listen to you. We spoke about that. If you have missed it, if you are watching the replay for the second time or third time or whatever, go back and watch it again. Three reasons we spoke about is number one, people don't trust you for which they don't do what you want them to do. Number two, they don't see your perspective. Or number three, they don't see an urgency for doing it right now. Okay. In fact, let me ask you this question and put down in the comments right now. Let's engage, let's interact. Let's make this the best ever live stream for you. If you have ever been in a situation where you knew you wanted to do something, but somehow you did not feel the urgency that I'll do it later on for good reasons because you thought you can do it later on. Write down me, M-E, me in the comment box. If it is you ever in your life, you wanted to do something, but you didn't see the urgency, write down me in the comment box. I'll wait for you. Yeah, Abhishek, absolutely. I agree with you. Happened to me too. Put down me if it happened to you. Raj Lakshmi, yes. Absolutely. Yup. So these are the three reasons why most people don't do it and this is, these are the three reasons what these are the three techniques what you should do number one don't just tell people what to do tell them what they miss out on if they don't do it number two tell your personal story and number three third party validation here is an action step for you here is what i want you to do you ready i want you to go out and i want you to damn it's hot I want you to go out, let me sit down here, and I want you to um, make a list of all the people in the last seven days. You told them to do something, but they did not tell you, and I want you to write their names tonight, whoever it was. And then, here's what I want you to do. I want you to write down which reason for each person applies so for example first person let's say you write down eight names or ten names um, and beside person number one write down Vishal Sarkar Steve says <laughs> Steve I love you brother uh, you last seven days somebody you wanted them to do something they did not do it and I want you to write down the reason don't write down in the comments write down personally what was it that they did, didn't trust you? Number two, they did not uh, see your perspective or they did not see the urgency to do it right now. Okay, I wanted to do this and I want you to, if you want, privately send me a screenshot or a photo of that image. And as a matter of fact, if you do that, or rather email me, Vishal at vishalsakkar.com and I will send you a private uh, PDF that I have on persuasion um, exactly how to 
advanced techniques to confidently communicate your idea, we'll talk about that and I'm going to give that to you as my gift if you send that list to me. Because I don't, I can't send it to everybody, that's the, the reason it's a private PDF, that's the reason I don't post it everywhere. But if you send that to me, I'm going to send it to you as a gift. So to help you, to um, reward your action taking behavior so that you can absolutely powerfully influence more people. Because let's look at the, the reality is that uh, you are a good person. If you are not a good person, you'd not be watching this live stream right now. Because, and because you are a good person, it's an ethical, moral responsibility for you to actually get people to do what you want them to do because you want them to do the right thing. Right? Many people think, Bishal, I don't want to influence people, I don't want to do this, I want to do that. Listen, if your son is having drugs, if your brother is having drugs, don't you want them to stop? Don't you want to influence them to not take drugs? Absolutely. Why? It's your ethical responsibility. It's the right thing to do. Correct? It's the right thing to do. I want you to do the right thing. I want you to influence people and leave your legacy. Because listen man, you are not born in this world just to make some money and just to live your life with a job and just to create good income for yourself. You, you are right here. You are absolutely Pritam, yes. Uh, you are right here to make a positive significant difference in other people's lives. Your family's life, your your colleagues' lives, everybody's life. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to, it's an ethical responsibility for you to learn how to ethically influence and impact and persuade people to do the right thing so that they can change their lives, so they can powerfully improve their lifestyle and their mindset and their health and their income and their <clears throat> relationships. I get really passionate when I talk about it because, because this is my passion. I want to teach you exactly how to do the same. I don't want to just help people, I want to help people who want to help people. And that might be you. You might be an IT professional, you might be a project manager, you might be a CEO, you might be somebody who's looking for a job. Here's what I want to let you know. It's your ethical responsibility to ethically persuade people and influence people. And we spoke about it in the previous stream. Um, we got stopped for whatever reason. Just go and watch it one more time. Watch the replay and learn from it because that's how you improve in your life. That's how you improve in your lifestyle and everything transforms for you. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to make a list of those people that you couldn't persuade for whatever reason. They didn't listen to you. Maybe your children, maybe your wife, maybe your um, mother-in-law, maybe your father-in-law, anybody. I want you to just go ahead and make a list and watch the replay where we spoke about three reasons why most people don't do what you want them to do and, and ask yourself what was the reason for which this person didn't do what I wanted them to do and we spoke about the three things as well um, about what you can do in order to really really influence people so go watch that take that training you know implement it apply it and it's going to be amazing for you by the way my uh, my aunt my maternal aunt is uh, fighting like a champion for her health for her well-being and she is having um, an operation this week if I have ever made a contribution to you in your any way by inspiring you or by any way if I've ever done anything I want you tonight to just send some prayers uh, her way positive wishes um, in your mind just think it's Vishal's aunt that I'm sending the prayers to who's fighting for her health like a champion for our operation uh, I want you to just do that for me would you do that for me would you do it for me please pray for that person somebody's fighting and prayer has a power I believe that I believe prayer has power and I know for a fact it does so I want you to pray for my aunt if I've ever contributed in any way or inspired you in any way or even if I have not I want you to contribute to me and my family by actually praying for my aunt and uh, I love I love adding value to you so I'm going to doing this live stream quite often for the last few days it's really really hot where I am man and uh, if you like this video if you have enjoyed oh, thank you for the likes and shares buddy uh, if you have enjoyed I want you to share this stream right now that's the only thing I want you to do I want you to share this stream on your profile and just send somebody who needs to hear this message and send them this training or the previous training and send them and say hey this is what you know I, I watched this training by Bishal it was amazing and you know you should watch it this is my buddy Bishal this is my mentor Bishal this is the guy who's amazing share this screen and um, do this that will really help me spread my message because I want to add value to other people and your friends just like I have added value to you and 
if there is anything I can do to help you, make sure you reach out to us on my website. Um, I do send a daily email every single day with some specific tips on how to exactly become a totally confident speaker. If you're not receiving that, uh, go to confidenceiq.com, confidenceiq.com. In fact, let me write it down quickly here, confidenceiq.com. If you're watching a replay later on, you might not be able to see this, but just go to confidence and then IQ. Dot com confidence iq dot com and take the test and you will get all the uh, tips that I send as an additional benefit. Pastor Raj, yeah, go to confidence iq dot com. Welcome to the stream. Watch the replay um, and uh, let me know. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be doing another live stream very very soon. We had a great session today on ethical influence. I want you to for sure share this stream right now. Um, because when you share more, you get more in life. You know, the people who keep good information to only themselves are people who are not open to sharing their wealth. They think, you know, it's scary. If I, if I just share my book with other people, I'll not learn more. If I share this video with other people, people will not respect me. The real people, the people who really are awesome are people who share. So I want you to share this stream with few people on Facebook, on your YouTube, in your email, and I want you to bless them with your blessing. I want you to bless other people, man. I want you to bless other people because you have that power to bless other people with great information. So share this stream, and I will see you again very, very soon. Thank you, everybody. Heman, Basavraj, Mani, Nalini, Pritam. Remember me. Yes, Pritam. Shashidhar, Hanuman Gauda, Zishan, Steve, Anupama, Raj Lakshmi, everybody. Hey, <laughs> I feel so much loved. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all your comments, likes, and shares. My name is Vishal Sarkar, always reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection. <laughs>